Hello, my name is Tim Roberts at GoEngineer. I'm a certified SolidWorks application engineer. In this GoEngineer quick tips video, I'll be discussing the split line feature and demonstrating what it can achieve. There's many situations to where we would like to split a large face into a smaller face. In this case, we have a tabletop. I'm going to create a sketch on the top of the table in order to be used in the split line feature. So that's one thing that we require for the split line is we have to sketch. To access the split line feature, it's on the features part of the command manager under curves. We'll go to split line. Several things to discuss here. We need a sketch. We also need one or more faces that we want to split into smaller faces. In our case, I'll select the top of the table. We can specify a single direction. By default it's going to go both directions. If you specify a single direction you can switch with a reverse direction checkbox. So let's just look at what the split line has done for us here. We now have a smaller face and we have a large face. Now could we have done this a different way? Well, certainly we could have used an extrusion disadvantage of the extrusion is it would introduce a sliver face if we used a very small value perhaps even a thousandth of an inch that's going to still be geometry and for manufacturing or analysis that's not a very desirable way to go so remember the split line feature when you need to do this a couple of other things I'd like to show you really quickly is um, we know that it didn't split the bottom of the table so if we edited the split line feature we could come in and say, yeah, I wanted to do some other other faces here, and it would include those then. This has been Tim Roberts with GoEngineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SolidWorks.